First up, we have Michael. Considering he has been MIA for quite some time now, for the most part, his rank will be knocked down slightly. I think he deserves a high C tier, possibly even B tier. He is a chill guy, but plays Destiny a bit too much. What do you mean, Obama? Destiny is the shit. Easiest S tier of my life, even if he is MIA. Destiny is the biggest piece of shit since Liam was born. Holy fuck, how can you enjoy this game? But anyway, this is about Michael, not Destiny. I am going to say B tier. It's settled then. We will settle for low B tier. Next up is Callum. Um, I guess we will have to settle for D tier. Due to his absence and overall limited sense of humor. Gotta agree with you on that one, Obama. He was also very argumentative at times, but he had his moments, I would say, high D. Guys, come on. Callum's role as the dementia man really set new standards and gave people suffering with the disease some recognition. Give him a B tier. Shut the fuck up, cunt. The only reason you like his character is because you relate to him. A lot. Guys, chill down. We are putting him in D tier, and that is it. Next up is Jack Rands. What do you guys think about him? Oh, John Rands, my favorite man. He is a, a really good addition to any scenario. John Rands, who the fuck is that? It is Jack. Fucking idiot. Anyway, I would give him an A tier as he plays a variety of games and is another chill guy. Shut the fuck up, you shriveled orange testicle. I gotta give him an A, too. He does play League of Legends and looks like my nephew. How is that relevant, Joe? Uh, whatever. However, I must say he is definitely deserving of a place in the A tier. He plays a variety of games and looks like an NPC. Next up is Eden, or Jim Dean 69. S tier. It's settled then, wonderful. Next up is James McNamara, the man himself. Thoughts? S tier. He doesn't give a damn what anyone thinks, makes cool shit like the SOG files and plays Resident Evil 4, what's not to love? Donald, just to remind you, this must be as objective as possible, no bias. We clear? Of course, you lame ass Mark, go fuck yourself. I am being objective. In my opinion, James has to be at least A tier. He really contributed to the concept of Chez as a whole, creating compelling stories such as the Red Smeg movies and, as Donald said, the legendary SOG files, not to mention he is a Chad. Let's recognize some of the downfalls of James, please. He's quite argumentative with a lot of the Chez Legion and believes he should be leader, which comes off as a bit foolish. Would you guys settle for high B tier? Come on, give him an A. Think of all he has contributed. Yeah, for once I am on this parasite side. Give him an A, fuck face. Fine, fucking dickwad. Next up is Keaton. While technically he has been outcast from the Legion, he is still referenced a lot and acts as a sort of myth to remind people of what could happen if they step out of line, just like those goofy little kids I drone striked. Anyway, thoughts? Gotta be S tier. Keaton didn't give a shit what anyone thinks. He was his own man and stood his ground. He had some controversial beliefs, but he stood by them. Respect! Uh, no, just no. Keaton should be D-tier. He was a Nazi racist piece of shit. The only redeeming quality is his dad, who would occasionally abuse him down the mic. Good times. I gotta agree with Joe here. Sorry, Donald. D-tier it is. Fuck you. You know I condemn the racism. It is just he was a funny guy. That is all. You guys should understand true comedy. Shut up, you overcooked clown. He is going in D-tier. Oh, for fuck's sake, not this fucking clown. I can't count how many fucking retarded statements she has said in the last week, let alone the entire runtime of the Chez Legion. Admittedly, it does add a lot of comedic effect to the Xbox parties and acts as a way of more jokes being created. Gotta give her an A tier. I would agree with you, Donald. However, the retard gimmick can become a tad tiresome after a while, but yes, I would say a tier is fair. I'm going to say S tier because those Dead by Daylight custom games are fucking amazing. But A tier is also fair. Next up, we have Riley Coleman. Thoughts, you two? He plays League. Fuck out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill down. Admittedly, League isn't my favorite game, but a decent percentile of the Chez Legion play the game. Maybe it is not so bad. Also, we put Jack in A tier, but he plays League too. Fuck all of them. Put them all in D tier. Stupid greasy fucks. Gay pedophile cunts. Donald, that is very ignorant of you to say League is a great game with many different play styles for everyone. Compelling gameplay and a fun progression system. Let them enjoy what they want. I'm going to give Riley a solid B tier as he is usually in Discord. Therefore, he doesn't get much screen time in the Xbox parties. However, he is still a chill guy. B tier. Okay, fine, but knock Jack down to B tier too because he plays League. Do it or I'm leaving the call. All right, fine, Donald, if you insist. Next up is Liam. Holy fuck, where do I start? 
I would say Liam deserves a solid D tier. He is an insufferable ginger miscreant who is only capable of bringing pain to everyone around him. I am considering developing a device to fling shit at his house every day. Give him C tier. He's a ginger fuck. However, he plays Resident Evil 4. Come on, think. You bring up a good point. Donald, anyone who plays Resident Evil 4, more specifically the remake, is at least 25% Chad. Okay, C tier it is. However, let me just go off on a tangent. Liam is the most insufferable ginger cunt I have ever had the displeasure of listening to. He should be shot in the face 543 times. In fact, no, 544 times because I want to take one shot on that bastard's head. On the 5th of June, he should have been put in the fucking ground. Actual parasite. Kill yourself, gay pedophile cunt. We get it, Donald. You are not a fan of Liam, but you need to respect he is the owner of the Chez Instagram group chat, and he has been around since the very beginning. C-tier is respectable. Next up is Soph. This one is going to be interesting. Gay VR chat pedophile, 1,000 hours on that shit, F-tier. Okay, first off, Donald, there isn't an F-tier. But apart from that, you need to understand people can play what they like. Games offer entertainment and a journey to a world you could never visit in the real world. You are on your own, Obama. That VR chat playtime scares me. Um, but it doesn't affect my ranking too much. I'm going to say borderline A tier, but got to be a very high B. Their erratic nature really provides funny moments occurring. And they have been there since the early days. I would say I am leaning more towards A tier as they bully Harley. And it can be quite funny to watch verbal battles unfold you guys have dementia or something 1000 hours they have spent more time in vr chat than they have in chez parties but fine you know what i will settle for b tier we can work with that okay good next up is dream wait i mean george sorry guys ah uh, george what a crazy young man he reminds me of my nephew cheeky little bastard okay this is just getting weird i would say george is deserving of a solid a tier admittedly he does play league but he transcends that drawback. His Dr. Labman impressions can be hilarious, not to mention his role in the Red Smeg movies, always being funny to watch. Way too high, man. Remember his lack of communication during Overwatch competitive games made them lose. He's a simp. You can't talk, you disgusting fuck. You simp over children. Please shut the front door. I'm gonna have to agree with Donald on this one. He is definitely quite funny. I think we can give him A tier as those downsides you mentioned are what keeps him from the S tier. Fucking dick writer. Yes, I do appreciate his humor, but holy fuck, you are just dick riding Obama. Shut the fuck up, you out of date tangerine. A tier. That is that. Finally, we have Harley Kerman. Oh, God. S tier. His voice messages always give me a chuckle, and I really like the porn he sends down chat. What the fuck? He is fucking D tier for the exact same reasons. Shut the fuck up. If I could mention what you did on that island, fuck... It would make you look much worse. I was playing golf cunt. Just because everyone knows you like kids doesn't mean we all do. Guys, seriously, I say he deserves C-tier. His jokes sometimes don't land, and as Joe said, he does send peculiar voice messages at times. But on the flip side, he does have his moments and plays a variety of games. It's just a shame his takes are god-awful. You guys know his favorite from Soft Game is Dark Souls 2? Holy fuck, there is no way. But fine, I will settle for C-tier. Fuck you guys, I'm out. Me too, gotta go for a nap. Well, fuck. You all may be wondering, where is Josh? Well, he is in every single tier because his mass allows him to do that. I am out. Fuck y'all.